So this, yeah, this is the hotel that we're in. Hi Bob. Hi Bob. So this is a courtyard to our hotel. It's absolute in Cordoba. This absolutely beautiful. It really is a gorgeous hotel. So here's one. Well, I'll take you to that room in a minute because Andy's in the toilet. So let me go in here to the kids. I'm going to film your room. Hello. You've got a much bigger room again than us this time. Oh, they've got a back as well. That's not fair. This, this, room's, this room's like a suite. It is a suite. It's a matrimonial bedroom, which means privileges. <laughs> Something we don't like about the room is the massive painting behind me. Go and shut the door and I'll show everybody the painting that's it's freaking you out. Welcome to Dorian Gray. <laughs> you want hunters and ask me. Except we can shut this door. Except what were you going to say? I said, it's all lovely in that, except from that painting. <laughs> it's absolutely nasty. It's nasty. I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> Just shut this door, you'll be fine. Right, I'm going to have a look at yours. This is stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Well, I'm impressed. Yeah. Oh, so mm -hmm. I... Oh, this is our room. I could have thought this would be dad's room. I'm going to say this is identical to our room. I like this. And it's, uh, it's stunning. I love it. The kids have got a suite. They've got a sofa and everything in their room. I've got no idea. Yeah, this is very similar to what we've got in there. Have you seen the kids' room? Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. So this is the reception area. Mm. I'm sorry. It's falling in the And then through there into the t into the patio to our rooms. <coughs> I'm just having a quick walk round before we go. A TV room. That is the first. When they go in their rooms and shut in the door yeah, to block she's... Dorian Gray up because, she's... because it'll eat it. She said, she said that to me. which is literally two doors down from the hotel and there's two different routes so there's a mini one the minibus one because the streets are a bit tight and then there's uh, the big one which is over from over there
Now, just to give you guys an idea, today is one hell of a hot day. We've seen back in Worksop, which is where we're from, in the Midlands. Three, three degrees hotter. It's showing 40 degrees. Yeah. Right now, I mean, that was this afternoon. Right now, it's 20 past seven at night and it's showing 38 degrees. It's really, it's too hot to be on a city break, I think. At midnight tonight, here, we're still expecting 29. That's, uh, we've not really explored a massive amount. We went on the city bus, which we'll have inserted some footage for you to have a look at. Uh, and we're gonna have a good stump round tomorrow. We can still use the city bus. At a certain point, we're booked into various things tomorrow. Helen's we, got us booked yeah, into Yeah, we need to be, I think bits. we need to be up and out early so yeah. that we avoid the, the very, very severe heat in the afternoon. Yeah, what we'll probably end up doing is around about two o'clock is disappearing back into the hotel yeah. rooms where it's nice and cool. And we need to be aware of staying hydrated, which doesn't mean sticking with the beer. So obviously we're drinking quite a bit of water. Well, I'll t uh, we had a slushy earlier, that went down really well, but yeah. I did get brain freeze from that. <laughs> I got a little bit as well. Oh, and a slushy, by the way, if you want to buy one over here, they were called... Granny Thada. And there you go. Which uh, gra uh, granizo is um, like hailstones, so it means ice. I mean, I'm walking down the... Look at this, I'm walking down the street, Helen's missed this. And, and literally, this is a bar or a restaurant, and the fig tree is... In the, uh, in the water. In the wall. It's got some figs coming on it as well. Yeah. I wonder what my figs are like at the moment. It's a, not a photograph, it's a video. So we're up on a, we're in a rooftop cocktail bar and Madison's having a mojito. Mm -hmm. Francesca's having a right, no coke. Right. We're having a beer. Oh, they're all nice and cold. Look at that, frosted. Look at the view. There's the old bridge over there. The original bridge that leads into Cordova. Called into Sojo, which is on the roof. Of the mud story car park. There's a mud story car park. It's not until six o'clock. We've had three beers and a Hito and a Diet Coke, and it's come to 21 euros, which is not bad. No, this place is probably banging. The beers, the beers are 350 a bottle. A bottle, yeah. Uh, the Coke was 3 euros and the Mojito was 750. Uh, and they've, they've got views, but the views are only on looking over the river. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Um, as opposed to looking over towards the city. the city itself. But it's, uh, it's a full on, full on nightclub, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a lift and it's air conditioned. Yeah, well, it's not air conditioned outside where we've been. No, but the majority it's, of it is. It's quite nice in there, I like it. So if you're a bit younger than us and you want to party on down. Yeah, no, no, my dad's just said it weren't, to say the sort of place it is, it weren't too expensive neither. Um, it amazed me that we walked up this way and there were nowhere open to get a drink. Yeah. But now I think everything's starting to come back to life again. But then it, I think, thinking about it, maybe it's not such a surprise because it is so hot. So we have the oboe, sal oboe salad, oboe yeah. salad, which is crispy chicken and bacon bits and honey and mustard dressing. Uh, what have you got? Okay, gracias. So So what are they? It's like um. Chicken strips. Oh, okay. So, so they're homemade chicken carriada. strips with curry mayo sauce. It's really nice. And this is a tapper of carriada. Oh. By the way, the wine we've got, we've got some wine. And, that's what and the wine there. is a blend. Limonia, Tinto Roble. Yeah. Um, the wine is a blend of Syrah and Cabernet Sauvignon. It's about, uh, in here, it's about 11.40 a bottle, I think. What do you think, kids? Good? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The croquettes as well. Which way around was it? Three of oxtail, mm -hmm. three of ham. And then mushrooms. 
the salad. It's the got a, fantastic. The salad's got mature cheese in it, which is nice, tasty. It's got a good full body taste, to say the least. And then all of a sudden, the bacon just comes up and smacks you in the taste buds and goes, hello. My favourite out of the whole lot was the salad. None of this has been bad. <laughs> None of us are disappointed so far. What do you think of the salad? Because she would never. It was nice. I don't like tomatoes, but I, I picked them out. What about and you thought the cheese was a little bit strong? It didn't was you? strong, but I got over it. I like, I like, I like the. Like and the bacon. Yeah, it's nice. Too. Risotto yeah. di rabo di toro, or oh, basically yeah. oxtail risotto. Yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to this. I can smell that parmesan cheese. It's sweet. But your kids have ordered carry-on, but as a ration, but with chips. That's, that is huge. So that's a ration. That's yeah. enormous. Good. I'm going to try some without the cheese. Good. Yeah, I'm about done. Can't eat all of it. Kids are proper You're struggling. You're audacity. You're audacity. Morning. 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 Today's Wednesday and we're going for a tour around the Cathedral Stroke Mosque. It's a do-it-yourself toastada, which looks nice. Savannah and ham, go. Finally chopped, I would have said, I don't know. And some tomato. He's got some salt. Cheska's been Spanish and putting olive oil on it. Madison's been un-Spanish and having a tea. And a croissant. Yeah, and a croissant. And a croissant to come with jam, jam and butter. I'm not talking very loud because it says you've got to be you're respectful. Not to talk. You're not supposed to talk, but everybody's talking. We're in the Mesquita in Cordoba, which is a it's a it's a mixture between a mosque and a Christian or a Catholic church. So it's quite an unusual sort of a building. I think it was first built by the Romans, and then the Christians took it over, and then they the they, they, they built it they built it bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it was split in half. Half of it was a mosque and half of it was a cathedral. So you've got both religions, or maybe more than two religions, mixed together in one in one church, which is quite <coughs> different, really. And it's a shame that more churches and mosques don't do the yeah, same sort of thing. True. So we've got Christian artifacts behind us just here. And then if you look behind us this way, 
the architecture there is very it's typical of sort of um, inside of a mosque um, but we're gonna have a look around it's a huge building and we've also got tickets to go up the bell tower not my dad but me Andy and the kids um, did it say it were built in the 8th century or something like that it's it's the third largest mosque in the whole world it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, we often visit those. And also, it's one of the oldest structures in Spain. So that's a little bit about this. It's called the Mesquita, the Mesquita de Cordoba. As well as being a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this, this mosque cathedral has also been classified as being of outstanding universal value and I'm assuming that's because it's um, got the mix of the two religions under one roof which is quite a rare thing. Now if you do want to visit here the really the best place in the only place to get um, official tickets is through the official website for the for the Mesquita and we'll put that official website in the description below you've got to make sure that you dress appropriately so i make sure you've got your shoulders covered you've not like got bikini tops on or anything like that you can wear shorts you're not allowed to wear hats or caps while you're inside you've got to be respectful and keep the volume down um, you're not allowed to use tripods or anything like that if you want to do any filming but you can hold your phone or your camera in your hand and take photographs and video like we're doing this door here we've got like sort of typical Christian religious artifacts and it feels like a perhaps you're inside a Roman Catholic church but then we turn round and you get the vibe of sort of being in a mosque can't see any sort of Islamic artifacts at all but even over there there are sort of Christian looking statues it's quite strange I just have to say one thing I'm I'm not religious and I don't know how Christianity and Islam differ from each other do no, you I don't. so I don't know the, the the architecture and well you can tell with the architecture obviously but the religious artifacts I'm not sure I think I know which are which but I'm, I'm not 100% sure were they were Christian they were Christian ones but we could be getting it wrong and we don't want to offend anybody if we if we have got it wrong so that was the um cathedral stroke mosque Mes mesquita mesquita there we go so, we get one. so uh, we're in los patios which is literally across from there we were in here last night um and actually this patio is shaded as you can see but they've also got Two great air conditioning units that they actually get winning when it gets hot. We noticed last night, a nice welcome change. So if you go in there as you come out, literally where the wall where the bell tower is, it's directly behind that across the street, you'll see it. Okay, so we're going up the bell tower. This is, they tell you on the website, it's not suitable for less able-bodied visitors, whether it's a disability, an inability, or being completely unfit, but we're gonna have a go anyway. Uh, you need to book it in advance. You allocated the time slot, you go up in groups of 20, you allocated 30 minutes, and there's two stop off points. And then there's no discount for old age pensioners, and there's no discount for students, it's three euros each, no matter what.
It will be a Jetta. Okay. This is the first stop. That way too bad. <laughs> My legs hurt. That weren't as bad as the walking up the tower in Seville. Is that because, it? No, we've still got oh up there to go yet. This is just the first stop. He's already out of breath. I am. It's okay. <clears throat> The river and everything from here. The, the old bridge must be yeah. there where we can't see. Yeah. So that was the warm walk up and down the bell tower. It's only been 15 minutes though. <clears throat> uh, three euros is not bad, but just looking at it this way, we might have just saved you a walk. Now, if we were on holiday in Ibiza, name the film. Oh, it's so unfair. So you come to the plaza looking for the market and you're like, eh? The market fully air conditioned inside. Happy days. So, we were recommended to come to the uh, Mercado de Corredera. Corredera. Yeah, don't. It's bad. Yeah, it's not, I the, not the best. Like the, uh, not. So, onwards and upwards, we're going to go and try and find somewhere to get some food. So we went to Berna Los Tres uh, Califas. Oh, um, we yeah, went to the market and it was crap. Uh, and we were walking towards the bus stop to get on the hop on up off bus. Uh, and we called in here because it was open and we've got some tapas. So the bread's turned up and it's fresh. What's more? Drinks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tres, tres, uh, tres mas. Tres mas. Tres mas. Tres That looks a nice salad. Yeah. So this is the uh, special salad. And look at that. It's got I do like a nice tomato salad. and lettuce and egg and sweet corn, carrot, beetroot, tuna, cheese and tuna. And olives. Oh yeah, and the olives are buried in there. Oh, egg. Did you say egg? I said egg, yeah. We've got a little bit of egg. They've chopped, kind of chopped it up. So we're just waiting for them to fetch us a, just need some, some place. place. Uh, so we've got olive oil and gas. And we've got two lots of olive oil and gas. So what's the other one though? Ah, okay. So olive oil and gas. And we call that magra. Got me potato. Got tortilla de patata. The croquetas de rabo de tomate. Upstairs, croquetas you like in upstairs, right? I'm wanting to buy some oxtail soon and cook it home. If it's nice, I'll start one. That is cod. So we've just been into Bernal Las Tres Calitras. It was alright, we had tapas. They all came to about 11 euros each. Um, and we had two beers as well. Hmm. Yeah, and we had two beers. Uh, I think that's quite cheap, really. Like, they've got no alioli, so they've been. Yeah, yeah, okay. we, we asked for bread and alioli, they've got no alioli, so they whisked some up and made it themselves, didn't they? Yeah, they were then on the spot. Yeah. 
Um, what we call magra was stunning. That really nice. Yeah. That was the best thing. Um, the salad were nice. It was huge. We left half of that. Yeah. And the Chesco had um, croquetas. Croquetas to uh, Rabo de Toro. Because they were croquetas. Really and they were like, they were, the guy, they, they were very, um, very friendly. Very friendly and very amenable. And they were, yeah. you know, Ooh, it's warm. It's very warm. But I'm not complaining. I've got sweat running down my back, which is just a really lovely thing for you all to know, but it's just very, very hot. Look at this. We walked past here last night. And we're gonna go, and we, we went up that way. Uh, we're gonna go and have a a bit of a mooch. There's a, a market we fancy having a look at. Not necessarily gonna buy anything to eat or anything like that. Well, we've just seen uh, now I'm not hungry anymore now. And it's called Victoria Market. It's probably from where we are right now, maybe a five minute or so walk. The others, the other guys are going back to the hotel. They've had enough. It's too, it's too warm. And we've actually, we've just seen a fire up in the mountains as well while yeah. we've been driving around on the tourist bus. You can see the flames lapping. So hopefully they manage to contain that very soon and it doesn't cause too much trouble. Don't tell the kids. What's sushi? Japanese food and sushi. Argentinian? Ah, so they've got Criollos, but they might have M. Ah, no. Bocadita Andalus is behind us. The portions I don't think are any cheaper than they are in a, in a restaurant. No. But you've got lots of different things to choose from here. Yeah? That's the things that we want about. Yeah, yeah the tortitas de camarones. <laughs> When we come looking for markets, when we come looking for markets, this is what we're looking for. Yeah. This is typical street food in Spain. They're a bit posher in this market. Yeah. So in those cones We'll be having some of that tomorrow. Serrano ham and little sausages. We've got the homemade empanadas. Six oh, euros oh. a slice, that one. Plus the peso is quite on that though. Yeah. Anything to eat, but we'll have a no, but I'm saying what's that in the bottles? I think they're soft drinks, but they're different because they've got Mexican cola, uh, lava, mango, grapefruit, mandarin, pineapple, tamarind. Yeah, it's called mix. And they're a couple of different ones. They're, just, nah, they're like the desperados, but they're not desperados. The desperados there, look, they look very similar. So that one's got tequila in it. That it says pink strawberry, so I'm wondering if it's got a pink strawberry gin in it. Don't know what's in that one. So this is seafood. So they've got scallops, mussels, uh, squid, paella. And octopus, octopus, and octopus. like little tables with like little boards of tappers so you can get the board with all them different things on the price is there but you've got a variety of different things to try like with smoked salmon i think that's a smoked tuna around here you've got more different things so it's air conditioned in here thank goodness uh, in the next video which will follow this one 
you will see us in Seville and there's at least two markets that we're going to hit there. One in Triana, uh, another one is like this one. What I will say is thanks to Graham M yeah. while we're in Seville because he's given us some suggestions both for the last trip and for this next trip. Uh, and the one for this next trip we've not done, we've already booked in and you'll see that in the next video, no problem. Uh, apart from that, we we'll hope you're enjoying it so far. Tonight Helen's got us booked into a halal, uh, I think it's Moroccan, it's Arabic, Arabic uh, restaurant, which could be interesting, yeah. something different. We're so far through our tour of Andalusia and Almeria and there's one recommendation I will make to all of you if you're looking at visiting Cordoba, Cadiz, Seville, uh, anywhere along that sort of area, Granada, that sort of thing, don't come in summer. It is very, very hot. And you'll end up spending yes. several, several hours oh. a day in your room in the aircon. Yeah. Um, so we suggest maybe coming in spring or autumn, you know, come before May or after I think you know, May September. May and September are big good yeah. months. It is really, really, really oppressively hot at the moment though. Yeah, and that's and we us. Live here. Yeah, we're used we're used to it to a certain extent, but it's completely different to being out on the coast or slightly inland. Yeah, when we get a breeze when we're on the coast, it's it's a nice, cool, refreshing breeze. Got to see. A, yeah. there, there is a breeze here, but it's like having a hot hair dryer blowing at you. It's not refreshing at all. So that's our top tip for you for now. Um, hopefully, you'll enjoy this series of videos. Is it going to be a series? Yeah, oh. the one for each day. Okay. Hopefully, you enjoy this. Each location. Yeah, day location. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, you'll enjoy this series of videos. Uh, if you do, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment. Uh, you know, if you want to see the rest of them, subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications on everything that we let out. And... And I think a lot of you that watch have not yet subscribed, so please do. And so tonight, our last meal in Cordoba, Cordoba, for this trip is Restaurant Damasco. So we've ordered mixed. Skewers, big mixed starter platter. Mixed starter platter, two of them between five, and mixed skewers. And you get three different skewers. So yeah, try. With either chips or rice. So the kids have got the chips. Well, most of us have ordered a lemon and mint. I can smell the mint. It's like a lemon, a lemon slushy with mint in it. It's lovely. If this is anything to go by, it's really nice, isn't it? So there's a mixed platter of lots of various bits and pieces, but Cheska can't wait. So the princes, the kids have got the same, but we've got rice with ours, they've got fried potatoes. I enjoyed that. It was completely different. Yeah, we couldn't eat fine. all of it, we were all Again, stuffed. Um, and I think the bill was, with a tip, 150. Um, between us. This one. Which I don't this think about. Well, it works out to 25 euros a person, doesn't it? Yeah. And the drinks were completely different, never had anything like that before. And uh, like a smoothie, lush. but a smoothie made out of lemons and mint. And did it have ice in, ice in it? I think so. But it didn't feel like it was ice, it felt like it was something that I have no idea. It was all whizzed up. Yeah, it was really nice though. Non alcoholic, of course, because um, they, yeah. they don't serve alcohol there. You could get a beer, but a zero zero beer. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, that's our last meal in Cordoba. Or Cordoba. Cordoba. Um, tomorrow morning we're up 
Ooh. Early. Ish. Yeah, we've got a trip booked first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, we've got to be there at 10.30, but that's all the way in Sevilla, so we need to be en route for about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to get there in plenty of time. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye.